Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nock. Welcome along to the Duskers Daily Challenge. It is Wednesday the 4th of October and we look like we have got remote power and sensor on a Mutiki A, so it's probably going to be a big ship. Uh, but yeah, remote power is very helpful indeed. Without further ado, let's begin the mission. And see what we got. Holy Jesus. Alright. Let's go, though. Let's, um... D23. Oh, hold on. Let's see that in the face. Hey, ship scan. That could be helpful. Alright. See if anything comes into here. Um, while we're doing that, D23, D15. See if anything comes into here. No vents uncovered by the ship scan, which is always a bonus. So we have a sentry in um, R3. Looks like R5 is safe. So we know one of our infestations at least. Okay. Um, we'll check to see if anything crawls out of R6. We'll check the interfaces just in case we get a survey. Survey would be helpful, of course. Alright. So we'll dock back on A1. And we'll open D13, D35. And uh, we got slime. Okay. Ha, 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 ha. Alright, well, slime and sentry then. Two of the infestations. We don't know the third at the moment. So, D21, flag R6. And let's open D16. See if anything comes from here. They could also be joined onto the same room that D35 is joined onto, so this may be a bit counterproductive. We will see. Seems quite a narrow ship. Alright. A2. Have another airlock. Okay, so we can do D14. So we'll leave D16, and we'll dock back on A1. And we'll go and check, see where it is through D16. Need to find another generator. Huzzah. Okay. Yep, and that gives us the access back into D35. Smooth the mouse, because I know I'll be hating when the mouse is launching at the top of the screen. Uh, 
Okay. Oh, it's a it's a tall and narrow ship. Uh, okay. So D14 looks safe. Okay. Take one back over to here for now. And let me just re let's just think about what we're gonna do next. I have two R13. Oop. We're gonna close everything, that's what we're gonna do. Let's see where we get shafted here. It's just plenty of terminals, that's a good thing, right? And we didn't get into there. Alright, that could be of two R thirteen Gen two. This way you find out there's like a a nice little bounty in here. There was a vent and one scrap. So we're not going to be able to get that scrap, unfortunately. But we're pretty much done with this top end of the ship then. So let's D35, Nav 2, R8, Gen 2, D14, D33, D35, D16, Nav 1, R1. Dock A2. Oh, Dock A1, sorry. Ah, typos. Gotta love them all. Alright, so then we're gonna do Nav 2 R1, D16, SR R2, R8. And let's see if anything comes from D30. There is. Okay. And it's not attacking. So, we're going to listen at the door. Leaper. Okay, it's a leaper. All right, D35, let's move you up to there, good sir. Excellent. All right, D16. D30, D17. Same. Okay. D seventeen, D thirty six, and then we'll do. Not too bothered about R twelve at the minute. R nine. So uh, 
D thirty seven. Let's check here. This looks like quite a bountiful room. There's four ship slots in this room. That's crazy. Asteroid in five minutes, three, fourteen, and two. Hmm. Okay. In that case, what I'm going to do, SR8R13. Alright, D33, D14. I'm going to move that sentry. Move the sentry out of uh, there. R13 is going to be like the a really good room to radiate. I think. SR, R13, R2, uh, D15. D15. Okay. Vent. R5A2. That's fine. Flag. R5. And flag R4. Flag R3. Excellent. Alright, so. We look like we're safe here, so SR. Uh, uh, actually, let's not do that. Let's dock A5. I'm going to do SR D16. SR. Watching around. R2. R8. And D thirty seven, D thirty one. D thirty one. Nav three one. Toe three. Nav three R one. Let's say one of them had to be terrible, surely. Okay, so we have another airlock we can leverage. That's good. Alright. <sighs> what to do next? Alright, D32. I could obviously um, send my boarding craft over to A3 uh, on its own with a sensor, but I'm just a little bit nervous of doing that.
Maybe we found the fuel. Not that there is anything here. Excellent. Alright. Close all. So. Now I'm starting to think. Uh. Now I'm starting to think the generator is in A3. Uh, sorry, it's behind A3, is what I meant to say. Oh, shit! Uh, okay, well, we can deal with that. Vent. R9. A5. There we go. Sorted. Whew. Forgot about, totally forgot about slime at 16 minutes. Asteroids fail to collide. Excellent news. Excellent news. Alright. So. D18. This is going to be risky. Slime. Okay. Slime. I haven't been in D10, so... If this doesn't work out, then we're going to have to, like, vent. There is something there. Let's move you down to D32, good friend. Or you'll be out of my way. Vent the slime again. Hey, what have you got? Stun and pry. Okay. So, D18. Take that, take that. Alright, so. Let me think how I'm going to do this. Alright, let's wait for the slime, because we've got, we should have one more slime spawn at 20 minutes here, and then we should be done. Then I guess what we're going to do is we could put a stun in R12. No, 
Nothing? Alright. Alright, so... That was slime, though. Hmm. Forgot about that. <laughs> Dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. All right, just everybody get on the ship. The thing is, I may not even be able to get in here because of the slime growth. So, I don't know that I can actually proceed anymore here, which means the only thing left to do is going to be to radiate the sentry. So, SR, uh, R8, R13, hold on, uh, SR, R13, R2. The asteroid collision? Okay, that's quite a way off. We're okay with that at the moment. Alright. SR. R2. R13. D24. Ooh, do I want to do this though? D24, Why is D why is D thirteen not radiated yet? I don't understand. Oh. I do. Don't go in the noisy room. D29. There we go. D29. Excellent. So that's got radiation going in there. D22. That's R13, R2. R2. I do see a potential problem with this. I think the sentry may... The sentry may just go in there. Hmm. I, I, I don't know if this is the best thing to do. Alright, oh well. Um, okay. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. What was it going all the way down the ship for? It's going to try and kill the slime. But then... Oh, I need vacuum to kill the slime. What am I doing? Yeah, I may have just messed this one up. 
big time. Yeah, I, I don't know what I'm doing. I've... Hmm. Alright, you know what? I'm just going to try and kill the sentry. That's what I'm going to do. See, this is the problem. Alright. Sentry is dead. Alright, it's a risk, but... Oh, the risk would have paid off if I'd have held it for a little bit longer. That risk would have held off. <sighs> Shit. There's no point in doing this at all, though, because then that just... Nah, uh, it's just ridiculous. Yeah, oh, there was a generator in R17. Alright, so... Now what I need to do is just grab what's in here and run. Bit of a disappointing end to the mission. I will be completely honest. But... Uh, we took 15 damage for a gain of 40, so 25 net gain. <sighs> Time today was 27.31. I kind of lost my way a bit at the end there. So um, I don't really know that there was a way, uh, an actual way I could have got in there. Um, the generator was in R17, so what I could have done was I could have vented um, R6 to, to make a safe passage through there and gone through there, because I don't think there was a way to get into SR, R13, R8. Yeah, SR. Oh, uh, R2, R8. Yeah, there was no way, other way to get into sort of uh, that behind D7 there. Um, so we missed that scrap at the top room as well. I mean, I could go and get it if I wanted, but I don't really want to go and take any more damage. So that wouldn't be... Wouldn't really be worth it. I don't think there was anything else I could have done. If I, if I hadn't have got the radiation, whatever I was trying with the radiation, I just completely utterly failed. But if I hadn't have brought the radiation down the ship like that... Um, and I, if I'd have used the vent and it didn't break the generator in R2, which I got away with both times, then I could have cleared out R6, and I could have at least looked behind D20, whether or not there was anything there or not. I still wouldn't have been able to get into R17, because that was just totally slime infestated. So, um, so R17's just been hit. Where's R17? Oh, that room. Uh, oh, that room there. Okay, well, that's well and truly gone now. Um, yeah, I could have looked behind D20 or D7 there in that room there, but I don't think I would have been able to do anything because, like I said, the generator was in R17. That was just totally full of slime at that point. Um, so, yeah. Um, I mean, I could risk... I could risk going to get that scrap. It is close to the airlock. Sod it. Let's just do it. I leave the hero or zero. It's as simple as that. Sensor triggering an R16. 
Ah, oh, 16. Must have been slime growth. Finally, the last slime growth. Alright. Uh, took 10 damage. So we gained 10 over 10. So it was worth it. Okay, it was worth it. Alright, so time after all the deliberations was 30-26. And today's ending score was... 8.95. We got 16 scrap. And 3 extra upgrades. Uh, no fuel. So, okay, let's see how everybody else did. And congratulations to Dano, who got 9.25 on the top spot there. Uh, jury rig with 9.20. Then we've got Stardire, 8.90. LB, 8.82. So possibly... Is that radiation damage? I think it is, possibly. Mactenshi, 8.70. Mustika, 7.80. Gartha, 6.75. Dangarad, 7.30. And ARS ERGT, new name, I've seen that before, 2.51. Guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, links to the other Duskers playlists are down below. Please go check them out and support them. They are awesome guys. Until next time, I've been Nock. You've been awesome. Happy gaming.